So hi friends with the stage 4 and material composition. Now we're gonna create a simple VRAM material without additional settings and it will work pretty easy and simple. And what we are gonna do now is just to bring a concrete map into the diffuse slot and the same bitmap gonna use and the reflection bump and the reflection gloss and as the reason why I'm doing this is because in my speed workflow I wanna have just optimized material settings without doing something more and complicated I just need to have realistic material on my object and once when I selected the object I will apply my material and gonna use UFO V map modificator to fit exact the texture of my material on to the geometry of my object but after when I uh, play a little bit with the numbers to get the best result on my texture on the object there are two ways of um, using different materials in one object. The first one, what we can do, and maybe it will be the easiest way, is to detach the surface where we want to apply the second materials. That will allow us to uh, work out um, the different objects with different materials. The second way is just to um, select the surface where we want to apply the second material and to set up different material ID on it. But for that reason, we need to use a multi-subject material where we will have different material IDs and when we once have the right IDs on the different surfaces in one object we just need to bring the multi-subject material onto the object and immediately each of the materials will appear on the right numbers of their IDs The same you can do, of course, with a simple composite material where you will bring your materials into the separate slots number. In my case, I just uh, created two materials, which means I don't need all the rest of empty slots of my multi-subject material. So, and if I fix all the numbers in the right slots according to the material ID or if I change something you will see immediately uh, appears black boxes in our material which means that something is wrong that something doesn't fit with the no right numbers and once when I have the numbers of my material IDs on the right places I just need to fix the same numbers in our multi-subject hierarchy and to bring the materials multi-subject material on to the objects and immediately everything's getting on the right places and each material will appear on the right place. After that, you can play, of course, with the modificator, UFO map again, or to bring some more additional changes with the editable poly and whatever. Also, to bring some more thickness with shell modificator. But as you see on our preview render, 
each material takes its right place according to the numbers what we've set up in our multi-subject material slots. So bear in mind that each material ID need to be set up and because after in the post-production we're gonna need all the render elements of course so there is a couple of major reason where you need to pay attention on the materials ID on the object IDs as well because after is getting be really easy when you start your workout in the Photoshop so that's for now and let's jump to the next episode thanks <laughs>